okay so we have the to-do list and we have the task and task is stored like here in the database but the most important thing is every task is related to every task are related to a to-do list so how we can get started with the testing we already have the testing to store the task we just need to make another or modify our assertion so when we assert on the database we say that okay on the tasks table the title should be the created title along with that i should also say that to do uh, list id should be this to do list id okay so list id okay and to make it more readable i can do something like this nice okay so this is done okay next we need to run this thing and it's going to fail yes we know <laughs> and what we can do here now we can go to the controller so task controller and here on the store path uh, when we are storing the task hmm, we should also store uh, with the the id so id of the to-do list is coming from this parameter now we can do something like this to do list route model binding so to do underscore list and just to make sure we are getting it just run the previous test and yes we are having this to-do list and that's great and this means i can simply add like uh, i can add something like this request to do list id is equal to to do list and id and then we are doing this all thing now if i run it we are failing this test still uh, it says that hey you don't have this one thing is we don't have the to do list id column in our database or the table so if i open the tasks table we just have the title second important thing is in our task model we have fillable for the title only and here we need to add to do list id okay so now if i run the previous test once again this time it says that hey you are trying to fill to do list id but there is no column there is no column called to do list id that's coming because we have to add it table string or actually not a string it's uh, connected to a id so i can say unsigned big integer and uh, this is naming with to do list id that's right and now if i run the previous test everything is passing wow this is very very nice okay so we have done this thing and uh, we are connecting this and we have the test also <laughs> that's really great so let's do the same thing for our fetching when we fetch the the tasks for a to-do list we need to make sure that the tasks are only related to the uh, the to-do list but how we pre how we are going to add it so when we create the task we can say to-do list id is going to be the list id we have just here so using the factory we are adding this to-do list id by default and then i'm going to create another task which is going to have the to-do list id of two now see this is very important in our database we have two task we have two task but we are trying to get the task for a list id of one or the first one this one so we should only get one as a count and if we try to run this thing you can see it's complaining that hey you are getting two 
obviously we know that because on our to do controller we are saying give me all the to do list but this is not true give me all the task but this is not true because we need to say that hey i want to get the task where to do list id is going to be the to do list which we just get from the route so like here so it's going to be like to do list id and after that get all of them now this is going to make sure that the the task we are getting will only uh, we, we we get the task only for this to do list now run the test and this time it's passing because now we are getting one so we have created another task to make sure that in our database we have more than one task and the task the different task we have is related to another to do list and that's how we assert that okay we only going to get the one the first task you should uh, if you want you should also check like if you want the to do list id is going to be the the list id so list arrow id so this will 100% make sure that whatever to do we are getting or whatever task we are getting so the task is going to have so i think i get got i did it wrong so from the response give me the first one and give me its to do list id to do list id so now we are 100% make sure that from the response we are getting the task and the first one is having the to do list id of the list id which we are trying to get the task okay so let's run this once again and it's passing every test is passing no not every test is passing because we have some problem on okay so what we have done here since we are we have added the to do list id in the database when we try to when we try to uh, create through the factory it's complaining because in the factory we should also add the to do list id so let's open the task factory and here add to do list id and we can create a function here a closure actually which is going to return to do list factory create and give me its id so this way we are getting the to do list id from the factory of to do list so this is going to be the real id that's great save this and uh, now run this yes it's passing that means every test is once again passing so uh, it was little complicated but we have not done yet we have to create the relationship between the to do list and the task and after that we can modify this and we can create some nice code and also yes and also we will move to the unit testing with this let's see how we can convert the sql file into the api with a swagger documentation using api artisan you can go to the api artisan.com and just click on choose file select your sql file and just wait for a moment now click on swagger documentation to see every api it has created for you from your sql file and then you can just click on download source file pay and you can easily able to download if you want you can actually go step by step to select which table you really want amazing let's go